You ever wonder how much electricity these little nerd miner and NM miner devices use? Well, let's do an experiment here. So I have three devices. Let's plug one in and see what the power draw is. Now, obviously, we're dealing with USB, so it's a 5-volt power supply. And we're using about a quarter of an amp at 5 volts, which translates to about 1.1 watts. And it'll fluctuate a little bit, but it should stabilize about 1.1. Now, if we plug in two more devices, obviously this one in front is a nerd miner. I believe the one behind it is an NM miner. Yep, that's what's booting up. And then behind that is also another nerd miner. So they're all the same exact device. Two have the same firmware. One is different. But let's see where they stabilize at with three devices. If we're going off the first one, it should stabilize about 3.3, 3.5 watts. And that's the yellow line that we're looking at down here. A little high right now. Okay, yep, stabilizing about 3.3, running three devices. Now if we do some quick math, if each device is drawing 1.1 watts, that means that your daily usage in 24 hours translates to about 0 0.026 kilowatt hours. Now your power company bills you by the kilowatt hour. So using that amount of kilowatt hours per day at 15 cents a kilowatt hour, which is a modest but average price for the US, that translates to about three tenths of one penny per day. You could even call it four tenths of a penny per day. That translates to about 12 cents of electricity per month or about $1.45 per year. That's running 24 hours a day, seven days a week, nonstop. So that is to say each of these devices, and we can see it's relatively stabilized, each of these devices is gonna cost you about $1.50 of electricity per year. If you want one of these stands, if you want one of these miners that are available in the store, the link will be in the description.